Thanks for watching my video today. Let's see another the integral derivative of the Dirichlet eta function. Okay, the eta function. Now evaluate that integral from zero to infinity x to the s minus one upon e to the x plus one log x dx. So proof. We know that eta s gamma s is nothing but integral from zero to infinity x to the s minus one upon e to the x plus one dx. Okay. This is the well known the integral representation. Okay for eta function that we have already done okay you can see you can watch later now in order to get this log x what we are trying to do is that we are going to differentiate with respect to s right we know that differentiation of x of a to the x is a to the x log a right so in order to get this log so we are going to differentiate with respect to this s okay so that we can get this original integral Therefore, differentiate with respect to s, we have d by ds of eta s, gamma s is integral from 0 to infinity 1 upon e to the x plus 1, the partial derivative of x to the s minus 1 with respect to s, dx. Why? Here is the partial derivative because of according to Leibniz rule, okay? Leibniz rule. Now we know that differentiation of product rule, okay? Derivative of product rule is this one, right? So following here, and you get eta s. Differentiation of gamma s with respect to s plus gamma s differentiation of eta s with respect to s, which is integral from zero to infinity x to the s minus one upon e to the x plus one log x dx. Then you get eta s. This is what this is. In instead of writing like this, we are we are writing like this. Okay, gamma prime of s. Then is gamma function gamma s is done with respect to s. Okay, differentiate with respect to s plus gamma s eta prime of s is integral from zero to infinity x to the s minus one upon e to the x plus one log x dx therefore original integral okay what we are trying what we are trying to evaluate this that one is the integral from zero to infinity x to the s minus one upon e to the x plus one log x dx is eta s gamma prime of s plus gamma s eta prime of s okay this is just an easy one okay anyway I'm trying to represent it. That's it.